I saw a unique medical case the other day. My patient gave me permission to tell you their story. I'm going to change a few details just to preserve the privacy of this patient, but I want to help raise awareness and provide some education for people about this unique situation that is becoming a little bit more recognized. So recently I saw a gentleman in their 70s and they told me that about seven years ago they had a stem cell transplant to treat their leukemia. So essentially they got chemotherapy to wipe out their immune system and then they acquired somebody else's immune system through a stem cell transplant. And about three months later, this patient started developing hives, swelling, and problems breathing shortly after eating food. And it turned out that the common triggers were egg and cow's milk. And this patient was having episodes of anaphylaxis and requiring epinephrine about one to two times per year. And the patient ended up having positive blood tests for egg and cow's milk allergy. And when I did a skin test in the office, they had a positive skin test to egg and cow's milk. This is something called transplant acquired food allergy. And it's probably due to this passive transfer of immune cells of different types that could cause potentially a short-lived food allergy or it could potentially be a lot longer and it's something that we're learning about. So this is something that is happening. It's not very common, but people should be aware of this if they're going through transplantation to see, do the donors have a history of food allergy?